The president of one of the top-ranked American universities is stepping down after student journalism reveals issues with his research papers. The man at the helm of Stanford University was born in Canada and will soon become one of the school's former presidents. Stephanie Skanderis is covering the story for us this morning. So, Stephanie, can you bring us up to speed on what's happened here? Well, Juanita, this is quite shocking for the scientific community, but it has been bubbling along for quite a while. This resignation follows eight months of review into the work of the president of Stanford. His name is Marc tessier Lavim. There you can see him there. He's 63, born in Trenton, Ontario, grew up mainly in Europe and did his Bachelor of Science at McGill. So that's his Canadian connection. He's a neuroscientist. He's looked at things like spinal cord development and Alzheimer's, and he's been president of Stanford for the last seven years. Now, this investigation was conducted by an outside panel of scientists. It looked at 12 research papers that he'd been involved in, all from before his time at Stanford and some that are two decades old. Now, in seven of the papers where he was listed as co-author, the panel concluded he was not responsible for any misconduct. But for the five papers where he was principal author, the panel found serious flaws. Now, he was cleared of the most serious. Those were allegations of fraud and misconduct in a 2009 study about Alzheimer's. But among those five papers, the panel found problems, including manipulation of data by researchers working in the labs. And they found that as the lead author, Tessier Levine, didn't take the proper steps to correct that. Now, all of this initially came up years ago in a discussion on a website that is for discussing scientific work called Pub Peer, but it came up again when the student newspaper published its own investigation into this. Here is what the editor of the paper said on why he thought this was so important. Research misconduct is something that is often shrouded in mystery. It is a, a conversation that really needs to be brought to the fore more because there's a lot that I think uh, people who are in my position a year ago uh, not necessarily have context to understand and uh, my understanding is that uh, a number of, I, I do not believe that a number of these issues had been raised with Stanford at the time that he was selected. Now, two of these research papers will be corrected, three will be retracted. That is really rare for scientific papers. And Theo Baker, who you just heard there, he says he doesn't think that would have happened at all if the student paper hadn't done its reporting on this. And so what is Tessier Levine saying about all of this, Stephanie? Well, he's released a lengthy statement defending himself and announcing his decision to resign. Here is more of what he says. Although the report clearly refutes the allegations of fraud and misconduct that were made against me, for the good of the university, I've made the decision to step down. He goes on to say, Stanford is greater than any one of us. It needs a president whose leadership is not hampered by such discussions. I therefore concluded I should step down before the start of classes. And so that's effective August 31st. Now, Tessier Levine also says he accepts the report's conclusions that there are some areas he should have done better and that in some instances he should have been more diligent. He says he was unaware of the manipulation of research data by others in his lab, but he takes responsibility for their work. Now, he will remain a professor at Stanford. He will continue to run his lab, but he says he'll be tightening controls in his lab going forward.